some water over there. Well, Aaron's here now. Aaron, welcome back. <laughs> How was your vacation? It was good. No, listening to Adam just kind of gives you this. I know. I'm, I'm feeling yeah. rough. I feel rough it. already. Yeah. <laughs> but it was nice weather, I, I assume. Just trying to get out of this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, totally. Come on. It's not that bad today. You'll see. Huh? I promise. It's not that bad. Not that bad. Oh, oh. I didn't say. I didn't say anything about it being bad. I'm just standing oh. here. Oh. All right, well, now it's time for trending, and Aaron's back to talk about these things. <laughs> so we're talking about a new burger that's meatless, a face that's run out of, oh, my gosh, a fun, a fun race, rather, that's run out of Texas. A face out of Texas. <laughs> sure, a face. There are a couple faces in there. And the relationship between your sleep and your happiness. Maybe that's, <laughs> maybe that's the problem with me just now. <laughs> but first up, vegetarian burgers might finally be getting the recognition that some say they need to go mainstream. Today, Burger King and Silicon Valley startup Impossible Foods announced the rollout of the Impossible Whopper in 59 stores around St. Louis, Missouri. To mark the launch on April Fool's Day, the burger giant released a hidden camera style video showing them serving this plant-based Whopper instead of the meat version to customers who marvel and say they can't tell the difference. The Impossible Whopper comes at an extra cost though, about a dollar more than the beef patty Whopper. Okay. Burger King is not the first to serve up the no-meat burger, though. L.A.-based Beyond Meat in early January announced it was rolling out its plant-based burgers at the fast food chain Carl's Jr. Lots of places have the Impossible Burger. Yeah, sure. what's, um, what's new about this? Also, That's Burger King. This, yes. It was totally not. That was fake. There was no way that people were like, oh, I can't tell the difference. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you really yeah, think? Okay. I guess I'd have to try it before. Well, I, I, haven't, I haven't tried it yet, so. I, I, yeah. I would be interested in trying it, but... I have no desire to try it, to be honest. Well, I'm as okay much, with the uh, regular old burger. <laughs> yeah, as much as I would love to stand here and give Burger King some more free publicity <laughs> for something that everybody else has tried before, let's look at something funny. Have you ever seen a monkey riding a dog? How about that? The Banana <laughs> Derby is one of the most popular attractions this year <laughs> at the Galveston County Fair and Rodeo. See, this stuff is what this I'm talking about here. This is amazing. It's exactly <laughs> what it sounds like. A monkey will dress up like a horse jockey and jump on top of a dog. <laughs> Together, they me. race around a no, small track, different. often getting distracted along the way. Organizers oh, say it all started sorry. when their pet monkey, Gilligan, started riding the family dog. Now Gilligan travels around the country oh showing off God. his new skill. And he also gives monkey kisses, too. Oh, my I've goodness. I've never this heard of this. This is the greatest thing I've ever See? seen. How does... I love that they're dressed up like jockeys. It, I've never I seen... I guess they have to strap them on there. Or other yeah. Than, yeah, how would know, they... Like... I don't know how they're locked on. <laughs> Maybe something on their feet. <laughs> Yeah, look, look when they go fear. really fast. They... <laughs> oh my! I've never seen this ever. Oh, I guess if your dog's amazing. big enough, you find out what animals oh, like to. Oh my goodness! Ride it like a horse. Yeah, that's, I, that's hilarious. That's gonna start never... to be a costume now. For oh, that would be bet. kind of fun. I bet. Yeah. Well, oh, lack of sleep could be influencing your happiness at work. No. This is something we've all, you know, experienced. Yeah. According to a survey by Mattress Company, the Sleep Judge, sleep-deprived workers, that's uh, people getting around six hours or less, are more often dissatisfied with their jobs. Wow. That's even more likely for those who work in retail, technology, or hospitality, or maybe the news business. What does it mean for us? <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, goodness. So this is true, obviously. Definitely. This makes sense, and no arguments there. I wouldn't also say it always. This, would you I say like it? my job. Yeah, I like right. being employed. Yeah, that's 100. <laughs> percent Would you say though that if you get less sleep, it affects your mood or happiness? Because I feel like there's a difference. Really? Mm. Yeah. Because if I don't get enough Maybe sleep, that's true. It doesn't necessarily mean I'm crabby. You know? Well, it doesn't necessarily mean you're like not you're unhappy with right. your job. Yeah. yeah. You're just in yeah. a bad mood. So yeah. I was just thinking about that. Maybe there's a little bit of a difference. But I guess if you if you're in a bad mood and you have a bad day, if you continue to have bad, bad days, days because you're not sleeping, then you chalk yeah. it up to. I guess you really have to look like at your job. life and figure out if you're sleeping enough or if you're not. And if that has anything to do with your job. I also Same. think the medical mm -hmm. field would be a really difficult. None of us, yeah, and, and I was going to say that, yeah, the overnight shifts. None yeah. of us on the morning show, at least. We don't have we, it that bad. We never Our get enough do, sleep. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's true. So. Yeah, that's okay. So. Shout out to them. Interesting. Ooh. Well, Lawrence, the connection poll is on Facebook right now. We want to know, do you believe you get enough sleep? Yes or no? If <laughs> anybody <laughs> says yes, then you yeah, owe us well, an explanation. I'd like to know. You how say how. Yeah, how many hours are you getting? Do you have children? <laughs> What's the deal? What field are you in? Let us know. Comment. I want to know if you're getting enough sleep. But mm -hmm. still to come on the morning show, three yeah. generations of a family in Ford County are getting ready to run. And it's the first 5K for one of them. We'll share their story coming up in today's Faces of the Race. Plus, we're getting some help with the forecast today. Lily is here to give you today's weather with Adam, and you're going to meet her coming up in just a few minutes. What's up, Lily?